Hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Maureen O'Connell. I am an Associate Professor of Religion and Theology and the Chair of that department at LaSalle. And so on behalf of my colleagues um, who are pictured here, and I am um, on that second row, the second in from the left, um, I just want to say congratulations and welcome. Um, welcome to a virtual uh, experience of our department. And um, I, I want to give you just a little bit of an overview of who we are um, so that you have a little bit of a sense of what to expect uh, should you decide to join us in the in the fall. Um, I think I would just really quickly point out we have two on the on the right hand side there are two Christian brothers in our department, which is a really distinct um, feature and, and something that we're really um, quite delighted about. And the first is Brother John Crawford there on the top and then the second. Um, there on the second row is Brother uh, Michael McGinnis, who used to be our uh, President Emeritus. These are the full-time faculty, um, and we have just as many uh, part-time faculty who are all very passionate um, about the department and the work that we do. So really quickly, why it's important for you um, to know a little bit about us is that all students uh, who join LaSalle University's community, academic community, are required to take um, an introductory course in religion called Religion Matters. Um, so we have an opportunity to interact with all students across the university, and we are really excited about that. Um, and this is part of the university's core curriculum. I'm sure you are learning about that or hearing more about it. Um, but all of us at LaSalle really think that religion is a global phenomenon and a fundamental dimension of the human experience. And so it's, we think it's important that our students um, develop uh, some fundamental skills to think critically about religion, whether their own personal experience with it or the way that it functions um, in their communities or in our society on the local, national or global level. Um, so all students will take this course, all of our faculty teach this course, and they all teach it a bit differently, but it tries to answer three basic questions, which you see there, right? Why does religion matter in your own experience? What matter or elements of religion do most religions share? What dimensions do they share? And then how is religion um, important or relevant or how does it matter in our national or global community? Um, I think one of the things that is really exciting um, about this course is that students in that last question have an opportunity to start to look um, for places where religion is operating in the world. And here's a great example connected to the COVID-19 virus that has us connecting virtually rather than um, in each other's presence this weekend. Um, but this was a story that ran in the New York Times about um, nuns in uh, Philadelphia, Catholic nuns in Philadelphia, and the work they did in the uh, Spanish flu epidemic. Um, and so, um, you know, in the Religion 100 course, I imagine there's some faculty who are asking students to explore that. I think another thing that's quite significant and that would make your experience perhaps of religion a bit different um, at LaSalle is the fact that um, our faculty are experts. Our faculty don't just teach knowledge, um, but they generate knowledge. And so here is my pointer kind of shows up on the screen. Um, this is a book written by Margaret McGinnis in our department, literally an award winning book on on nuns and the role of nuns in American history. Um, so she's literally written the book on this. Um, so you are going to have an opportunity um, to engage faculty um, doing some work in this book over here on the on the corners. Um, these are some of my own works. So something that's really important. I think the other thing um, that we would say is that um, beyond that course in particular, um, students have an opportunity um, if you have a great experience in that class. Uh, to take a variety of other religion classes that meet elective requirements or institutional learning outcome requirements in the department. Um, so here's just some flyers of some of the courses that we offer. Um, and um, we do offer courses that do really unique things. So for example, this semester I am teaching with a colleague in public health um, in one of the uh, jails in the Philly prison system uh, for women. And the course is called Women in Social Change. And uh, half of the students are from LaSalle. You can see um, here um, uh, at the prison, there's a, a really neat mural that's been done on there. Half the students are from LaSalle, half are from outside or from inside the correctional facility. It's a really fantastic opportunity. So we do a lot of innovative stuff. Um, 
another example of a really neat course that we're offering right now, uh, meditation and mindfulness. So students learn uh, the value of meditation, um, its, its roots in various religious traditions, some of the practices. And then here's a, a great picture uh, from Professor Julie Reagan, who teaches that course, taking students uh, nearby into the Fairmount Park to do a forest bathing walk. So again, trying to do innovative things. If you were to join us in the fall, uh, we've got two really timely courses, uh, religion and politics, and then a course that I'll be teaching on faith-based community organizing. Um, so we try to do a lot of innovative things. We also try really hard uh, to make Philadelphia a resource that our students and our faculty use. So there's me behind the wheel with a whole bunch of first year students last fall, um, heading out to visit um, a local church um, and here's just an example of different ways that our students are out and about with faculty. So some of those pictures are from a recent Hindu festival in the fall. Uh, here are um, some students engaging a city council person connected to that organizing class. Um, so a variety of different things um, that we are, are doing uh, with our students. I think the other thing that I would add is that uh, the religion department, a lot of the offerings that we have uh, are very much connected to the university's mission, uh, which is an education that works to uh, prepare you to live both a fulfilling life and a good life, but also a life that's committed to the common good and the good of others. So this is just a sampling um, from the last two years of different activities that students have done either through our department or through courses that we offer. Uh, to really get involved with and make public um, and prophetic stances around issues that are important to them. Uh, lastly, I would say that some of our classes really um, take students off campus and beyond the city of Philadelphia and uh, out into the world. So uh, travel studies to Greece, travel studies to northern India to engage uh, the Tibetan community in exile there um, is really important. Also, we tend to bring experts to campus. And in fact, if the COVID virus hadn't happened, we would have invited and hosted a, a group of Tibetan monks to come and make a gorgeous medicine uh, sand mandala for us uh, next week. Uh, so they won't be with us, but we do host and, and collaborate with other departments to bring folks to campus. And to that end, we also uh, have an annual lecture series um, that helps students in our university community and also our surrounding Philadelphia community really engage the relevance of religion uh, in their lived experience um, and in the world. So uh, just this past fall, our topic looked at the question of Muslim women. Uh, we have a very significant Muslim population on our campus, which is such a gift, um, and learning a bit more about their experiences um, and the ways that they are living and interpreting their tradition. And, you know, uh, before that lecture, uh, we gathered folks from our community with students and faculty. Uh, here's our here's our dean here. Here's some faculty, some students, our speaker um, for for conversation. Right. So we really try to create opportunity. Um, some of our students end up having a really great experience and uh, are surprised, taken caught off guard by how much they enjoy their classes and uh, decide to declare a major. So this is just a quick little overview of, of what that would look like if it was something that you were, um, you were interested in. We have a really great community of students, a really diverse community of students. We have a close-knit faculty. We have a student lounge um, where we really try to help students um, have, a, have a sense of belonging. So we're really proud of the work uh, that we do sampling of some events. Uh, some of these things we're talking about doing a virtual ice cream social online in the coming weeks, um, just to continue to hold space for our students. So we think it's a really exciting uh, place to be. We're really proud of the students who graduate. Here they are. Um, just a sampling of some of them, really proud of them. We have a nice network of alumni, uh, many of whom come back to campus. So this is a collection of students and alumni. Uh, we have students who go on to post volunteer work, let's say here in the Peace Corps, this is a student who's in a, in a pre law internship. Uh, the student has gone on to graduate school. Here is another who's doing some work in the Lasallian Volunteer Corps, another one doing some work with the Lasallians um, in Bethlehem um, at Bethlehem University. So really a vibrant, uh, vibrant group of folks. Uh, that's just a small sampling of us. Um, so again, uh, that's a little bit about religion. If you have uh, more inf looking for more information, here is my contact information. I'd be happy to talk with you. But we'd also encourage you maybe to follow us on social media 
um, and see what we're what we're going to be up to, especially uh, towards the, for the rest of this semester. We're really going to try to have a vibrant presence there. So once again, thank you so much for your interest in LaSalle. And uh, we very much look forward, um, hopefully, to welcoming you to campus in the fall. Stay healthy with your family. Um, stay focused in the things that bring you joy. Um, and, um, and be well. Thank you. Bye.